Lesson 6.5, three-digit addition, regroup ones and tens. For three-digit addition, we regroup when there are 10 or more ones or 10 or more tens. We need to regroup when any place value has 10 or more. We always regroup to the next greater place value to the left. We have learned that we can quickly add tens using mental math. We have no ones, so that's zero. And we have three tens plus two tens, that's five tens, that's 50. We can add it as a number sentence. We don't have any ones, so we just count the tens. Three, four, five, six. We have six tens. Six tens, zero ones, that's 60. We can quickly add hundreds using mental math. We have zero ones, zero plus zero is zero. We have zero tens, that's zero. We have four hundreds plus three hundreds, that's seven hundreds. We can just look at this and see because there's no tens or ones, we have four plus three in the hundreds place, that's seven hundred. And we can add it as a number sentence. We can add 2, 3, and 1. That's 6 in the hundreds place. There are no tens and ones. We have 600. Sometimes we will need to regroup more than once in addition problems. Here we have 178 plus 356. We start with the ones place. We add the ones and regroup if needed. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. 14 is 110 four ones. We regroup the 10. Now we add the 10s and regroup if needed. We have 7 plus 5, which is 12. We remember that one up here. That's 13. We have 13 10s. We regroup 10 10s as 100 and write the 3 in the 10s place. Now we add the 100s. 3, 4, 5. It's equal to 534. So this is what we did when we added 178 plus 356. We added the ones, eight ones and six ones is 14 ones. We regrouped a 10 and wrote the four. It's one ten, four ones, okay? Then we did the tens. We have seven tens plus five tens plus the one ten we regrouped. That's 13 tens. 13 tens is 100 with three tens. We regrouped that 100 to the hundreds place. Then we added the 300, the 100, the 100 to get five hundreds. It's telling us to write the sum. So we need to find the sum for this one and find the sum for this one. We start with the ones place. Nine ones and four ones is 13 ones. So are there 10 or more ones? Yes, we have 13. So we're going to regroup a 10 to the tens place and write the 3 in the ones place. Now we're going to add 8 plus 7 plus 1. But look, if I put this 1 with the 7, I'll have a doubles, 8 plus 8. That's 16. Are there 10 or more tens? Yes, there are. We have 16 tens. So we're going to put 10 tens over here in the hundreds place as 100. And it was 16 tenths, so I'm going to put a 6 here. Now we're going to add the hundreds. 3, 4, 5, 563. Okay, let's try it for this one. We're going to start with the ones place. We have 8 plus 6. That's 14. Are there 10 or more ones? Yes. We have 110 four ones. So we're going to regroup the 110 to the tens place, and we're going to write the four ones in the ones place. Now we have seven tens and one ten and zero tens, that's eight tens. Are there ten or more tens? No, we only have eight. Then we add the hundreds, four plus two is six, we have 684. Sometimes we won't need to regroup at all. Sometimes we will only regroup the ones. Sometimes we will only regroup the tens. And sometimes we will need to regroup the ones and the tens. When a place value has 10 or more, we regroup to the next greater 
place value to the left. Now it says, what are the missing digits? We have an addition problem here, and the tens are missing here, and the ones are missing here. In this one, we have a hundreds missing and a ones missing. And we think, what number is needed to make that sum? We have an eight, and something was added to it that we would have a four in the ones place. Do you know what it could be? If we think, we would need to have a number greater than eight, so it's probably gonna be a two digit number that we regroup. Eight plus six is 14. We would regroup a 10 up here and put the four in the ones place. Now we have a three tens and a one tens, but look, the sum has a six. What would need to be here to make that a six? We have three and one more is four. We need two more. It must be two tens. So we had a missing two in the tens place and a missing six in the ones place. Now let's try this one. We have nine, but look, the sum has a six in the ones place. If we add a 7 to this, we will have 16, which means we will have to regroup a 1 and look at fits. 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 tens, 6 ones. Now, for the hundreds, it says we have a 3 in the hundreds place. What could be here plus 1 that would put a 3 into the sum for the hundreds place? If you said two, you're correct. So we had a missing two in the hundreds place and a missing seven in the ones place. We have to be careful to count the regrouped numbers. Don't put the regrouped number here. It goes above, okay? We have a word problem and it says there are 257 large pumpkins and 165 small pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. How many pumpkins are in the pumpkin patch? We think we need to find the total amount of pumpkins. We can add to find the total. We add 257 large pumpkins and 165 small pumpkins. We start with the ones place. We have seven ones plus five ones. That's 12 ones. 12 ones is one ten, two ones. We regroup the 10. Now we add the tens place, six, plus five plus one. If we add the five and one together, we'll have a six plus six, that's a doubles. That's 12. And 12 tens is, 10 tens is 100. And then we put the other two tens down here. Now we add the hundreds. We have two, three, four. That's 422. That means there are 422 pumpkins in all. This word problem says, Chris and Tala each found 178 gold coins in a video game. How many gold coins did they find together? We have clue words here, find together. That means it's telling us to add. If they each found 178, then Chris found 178 and Tala found 178. We need to find how many together. I'm going to add them. We start with the ones place. We have doubles, and look, we have doubles in the tens place too. Eight plus eight is 16, and 16 is a 10 and six ones. We have seven tens and seven tens. That's 14 tens, and one more is 15 tens. 15 tens is 100 with five tens. We add the hundreds place. We have one, two, Three. We have 356. That means Chris and Tala found 356 gold coins. For those of you who are new to watching my videos, we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. And those of you who have seen my videos before, you know this already, don't you?
So remember to count your regrouped numbers and ask yourself, are there 10 or more ones? Are there 10 or more tens? And you'll know that you need to regroup. Our next lesson, 6.6, .6, we're going to do word problem solving with three-digit subtraction. I hope you'll join me there. Bye.